Okay, folks, Net 931A here again, uh, continuing on with the Edwin Gray replication. I've changed my uh, grids to a negatively charged aluminium plate that I'd done for a previous experiment. And again, I've got the this core here, here connected to the so-called grids, which is then connected to this capacitor. Uh, uh, yeah, and I've got some voltmeters and stuff. Uh, nothing much changed. Got the commutator down there, diode going to the low voltage. Uh, what's interesting on this, uh, when I've ran this, it's picking up the charge without even a spark getting to it, maybe because the gap is a bit too far away before it's jumped to, but it still picks it up, which is really interesting. And um, it really picks it up too. Like over, like it can pick up over a thousand volts. I saw about twelve hundred on the voltmeter. So anyway, I'll turn it on and we'll have a look. Okay, so the negative. Let me zoom in on it. Getting too close to it. Alright, so you can see it's sparking there, but it's not actually sparking to the plate, yet we're getting that on the voltmeter coming up. Alright, but what's interesting if I uh, just sort of move the um, the tail slightly, it jumps all over the place. So I had it up to about 12, 1300 volts before, and I can't remember. Oh, here, let's get the commutator in there. Um, what was I doing? That's just moving the, um, the bench slot on. So presumably if you get the gap even closer then uh, then um, it probably goes even higher. I just moved the plate closer to it and it's sparking now and look at the voltmeter now. It's gone bananas. I've got the commutator running. Very interesting uh, circuit. I guess I'll have to try the negative plate with some insulation on it next and see what happens. So at the moment that plate is over the uh, high voltage rod obviously, uh, which is what Gray was showing us in the patent. The insulated